Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're having a very Merry Christmas, spending holidays with your family and loved ones, if possible, staying safe if necessary. Luckily we live in an age where we have technology and cameras and all that kind of stuff, where hopefully we can at least uh, give someone a call and, you know, spend a little bit of time with them on the phone through video chats, things like that. Um, all right. Well, here's my top three comic spec picks for New Comic Book Day 1229-2021, and I do have one sweet honorable mention. I think all of these books people have been waiting for for a very long time, they're finally coming out, people are really excited for them, and if they missed them out on the FOC, they could end up overpaying for it, and that's where you can get a couple of these extra ones to help this hobby pay for itself. Without further ado, let's get started. I wanted to kick things off here with an honorable mention. I don't believe this will jump on the secondary market, but it is Power Rangers Universe number one. And it begins with the question of what is the true origin of the Phantom Ranger? So it may be answering this question, and I know from a lot of the Power Ranger groups that I'm in, people are very interested in this character. And then also what is his connection to the Morphin Grid? So if we can get that kind of in uh one issue that would be awesome wow 24 years it's been that long since the phantom ranger wow and i did want to show here's another cover the bon bernardo variant uh, let me see it, yeah see even this person commented they've been waiting i hope he truly is the son of zordon of eltar oh is he zordon's son Alright, it does look like my internet's being a little slow, so I'm not going to wait for this. This website did actually take a long time to load when I was pulling up um, the comic previews and reading them and everything this week, so I don't know. Alright, so just forget about that. This, I mean, you can kind of see it here. Um, I'll zoom in. There. There you go. But what I wanted to really show you was I actually went ahead and I bought this next... Oh, there we go. Loaded. So... There you go, Phantom Ring. That is a beautiful. That would be beautiful to get in a 9.8. Um, be hard. Would be really awesome. Probably look better in person than on the screen. So after that, we have uh, a cover variant that I went ahead and got, and it is this. It is the uh, the negative space variant. It was on my FOC. And I don't know what these lines are right here. Um, so, but I guess, I don't know, I pulled it off the eBay listing. Maybe that's from their image, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, that's uh, a pre-order uh, sort of that I got off of eBay that I'm really excited to get. So we'll see how that does on the secondary market. That is my honorable mention for this week, Power Rangers Universe number one from Boom Studios. And the first one, number three, is going to be the death of Doctor Strange number four. We get the first, or the new Sorcerer Supreme. So it will most likely be the first appearance of the new Sorcerer Supreme. And here's cover A. Villains Rain variant. And this is the one for 25 Medina variant. So I don't know why Magic is the one in 25. I don't know the story. I haven't been keeping up with it. So I don't know if this fits kind of what with what you think will should happen in the story or if that means magic is going to become the new sorcerer supreme or sorceress supreme i don't know um i can see them doing that so all right that is my number three the death of doctor strange number four the this and again it's because you're going to be getting the new sorcerer supreme number two another marvel book timeless number one 
And this one, it looks like there was a leak that Marvel Man, who I think now is Miracle Man, I don't know what, I forget, Miracle Man, I think, um, when they reintroduced him, they had to change it to that for some reason, I think. But anyway, uh, this is about Kang the Conqueror going through sort of, I don't know, I almost see like it's what happens after uh, the Loki show is up. But here's the other covers. Here's the Momoko Stormbreakers. That's actually really nice. That might be one of the best Momoko covers ever. Timeless. And it has Mrs. Oh, what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name from the show. It's been so long. Um, this, <laughs> I almost thought this looked like Archer. Uh, but it's Namor, obviously. And then is this Miguel O'Hara? Um, you know what's funny? Miguel O'Hara, I believe it's O'Hara, so he's also Irish. I'm half Mexican and my mom is part Irish. So that would, that's kind of, I'm kind of like the same thing. Here's the, I think this is a 1 in 50. This is the, let me see, this is the same here. It's the Hidden Gem variant, um, which is really cool. And then this one's my favorite just because Rogue is my favorite. So I think that's really cool. I don't know if that's going to, it's the car. Carmen Carnero Stormbreakers variant. I don't know if that has any significance or anything, um, or if these people are just picking their favorite from who's going to be in the story and picking one. Um, Thor. And then. It looks like Hulk. I don't. And then is that World War Hulk, and then Maestro, and then Gangster Hulk, and then Banner, cool, and then She-Hulk, that was actually pretty cool, that's kind of cool, like they didn't make her overly sort of like Rage Monster Hulk, but I can see it's sort of a little take on like a 90s version with a little caricature of it. So there you go. Those are the covers for Timeless number one. And um, I just think that, again, I don't know if any of these are going to go. Honestly, I think that Power Rangers variant to this is probably going to go the highest on the secondary market. Um, I don't know how well these are going to do on the secondary market. Um, but, you know. Uh, that new Sorcerer Supreme was kind of been leading up to it, and this Timeless, I mean, Disney Plus has been leading up to it, so I think that could hit really big. And my number one, which the only reason I stand by my statement of the Power Rangers, that negative space variant, or even maybe that ratio variant of the White Phantom Ranger is going to increase more the most this week. Is because I think this one is going to be over ordered because of how well it did on the secondary market the last time it came out. And without further ado, we have number one Stray Dogs Dog Days Numero Uno. I don't know what else there is to say. Um, I mean, is this Pet Cemetery? Like one of the pet cemeteries. I don't know what that one is. I mean, there's just a bunch of poltergeist, probably. Um, I don't know what this one is. This one is Rocky Horror Picture, Picture Show, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know what's really funny? I think that's the type of dog that um, the main dog, who was voiced by, I believe, Burt Reynolds, was in love with in... All dogs go to heaven. Just kind of <laughs> silence of the lambs. Although it's probably a yeah, it's a Hannibal homage more than Silence of the Lambs because Silence of the Lambs. Oh, you know what? The Silence of the Lambs was actually the variant for number one. I'm pretty sure. And so this one, 
you could get Hannibal for this to go with your Silence of the Lambs number one. That would be pretty cool. Uh, this one, Gremlins, right? Um, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, it actually kind of says what they are. Dawn of the Dead. Candyman, I would not have got that. Sixth Sense, would not have got that. Teeth, don't even know what that is. Ice Cream Man, Ice Cream Man. How is this an Ice Cream Man exclusive variant? Let me see if I can fit a little quicker in another tab. Uh, 30, yeah, 30 Days of Night, Halloween, Chucky, oh my gosh. So many, this isn't, there we look at that. Oh, Ghostbusters, I don't know that one, it obviously. I don't know guys, I, oh, Exorcist. Is this seriously all for, no, I feel like they're using it all, all these up for number one. Oh, here's all dogs go to heaven. Ha! Ah. Frank and Weenie. Jennifer's body. Okay, so it is a Lady in the Tramp one. Alright. And then another It. Uh, Tales from the Crypt. Goosebumps. That is a cool one. Oh, it looks like it finally... How's that ice cream man? That's not what the I, I don't know. That must be different ice cream. Oh, you know what? It's probably that that bad movie that I think was starring um, Ron Howard's brother, who was in Waterboy. Uh, I, that's all I could really say. Uh, Scooby Doo. Yeah. All right. Let's look and see. Look at these other ones. Okay. So that one loaded. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's a variant. Spectral Comics exclusive. So I don't know if there's any left on Spectral Comics. But I'd go ahead and that look. I don't know. That is the coolest one I think of all of them. And then this Goosebumps just kind of hits me. You know. Um. But again, I don't know what's going to hit on the secondary market, uh, if any. Be simply because there's just there's so many, they could be being overordered. I mean, I'm sure plenty of people FOC'd it. Um, so yeah. Alright, well, I will let you all go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you are all having a great holiday, spending time with family and loved ones, and staying safe, and staying healthy, and... Um, you know, uh, if you like this video, please click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, you can, uh, comment down below, let me know what you thought about my picks, was there something I missed that maybe slipped under my radar? Uh, so you can click here on the screen, I'm actually going to show my haul from last week, that you can enter the giveaway, and then this one, I'll actually show a Pokemon opening that I did, I'm looking to expand my uh, channel, and so that's one of them. And thanks for checking out this video. Again, have a Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.